Okay, we stick with foreign policy, but now we got the conundrum. Nobody's talking about this. Kind of worries me. Should worry everyone. The Obama administration has been has done a lot of talk and it's done a lot of talking about how wrong Russia is and how it's the 21st century and all this. And we do nothing and Russia keeps making trouble, keeps moving forward and keeps trying to take over and make a part of their country, peace loving countries. Moldova is a little bit worried now. Uh, Poland's got to watch out. Lithuania and Latvia have got to watch out. And of course, the Ukraine, they're trying to split up. And we do nothing there. We talk a lot and we do nothing. In the Middle East, we try to put Israel and Palestine together. It ain't working. Palestinians have two separate leaders, two separate focuses. How can you expect to make a deal with one and not make a deal with the other? You have to get everybody at the table. You have to work piece by piece, not one big grand bargain, because big grand bargains aren't going to work. The world isn't ready for that right now. There's no respect to the United States, and there's no respect or, or consideration that the United States would be able to maintain the peace if a deal was made. So that's falling apart. Gone, kaput, kaput. They should be trying to do little pieces, confidence builders, piece after piece after piece after piece. But we're not doing that. Syria, of course, the, uh, the chemical weapons are still there, and that's because we're not going to deal with Russia yet. Look what's going on in Asia. We've sent two destroyers over there to try to cow and back down China and North Korea. China, as you know, has been now starting to expand its airspace, talking about control there. North Korea doesn't like anybody or anything except Dennis Rodman, likes to shoot missiles into the water to, to, get, to make South Korea worry and then talk about threatening nuclear destruction. So Japan gets nervous, South Korea gets nervous, and we should, which is consistent with the way we believe, help our friends and look out for our friends. So we're sending destroyers out there. And China's getting really angry. Well, it's a conundrum. Why are we so tough over in Asia, but we're not tough over here in Europe, in the European front? And it is a front. What's going on, Mr. President? I don't understand. I don't know why people here don't question this. If you're going to be an isolationist, be an isolationist. If you're going to talk, talk. If you're not going to do anything about militarily about trying to stop others from invading and taking control of territory, whether it's military, which, as we've been very clear, we do not agree with, but should be vicious and nasty economic sanctions. Now we're talking about military moves in Asia, and we're actually doing it. So who is our friend? Is China our friend? Well, the Chinese are a dictatorship, just like Russia. And the Chinese suppress free speech, just like Russia. And the Chinese are very much like them. A lot different, though, that you have a party running things instead of one man. So we decide now we're going to take on Korea, North Korea, and we're going to take on China. And what if something really happens? What if China attacks Taiwan? What if North Korea really does something to South Korea? Remember, a couple of years ago, they took out one of South Korea's ships. We did nothing. Now we're just going to sit out there and do what? Are we really going to back it up? Or is it just all talk? I don't know anybody can believe us. China's really angry, as everybody sees. And if I was China, I'd be angry. But China's looking for trouble. And there's nothing wrong with pushing back. And there's nothing wrong with being respected. China's a great country. Very smart people. Great tradition. A great history. But they're pushing, like all the others, because of the vacuum that's being created as the United States is backed out. Now we're trying to maintain our influence and strength in Asia. I hope it works. We're encouraging Japan to militarize a bit. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's good. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens when maybe we have to cross swords with somebody over there. Are we going to do it there, but we won't do it here in Europe? Very interesting. The conundrum. The conundrum. Which way is the administration going? It's hard to know. We believe in a strong defense. I seem to, We see nothing wrong with this, with the two destroyers going over to Asia. We, don't, we think there's a big mistake in cutting the defense budget. I think the defense budget has to be stronger. 
I think people have to worry about the United States and worry that we will back up what we say. That's what they have to worry about. Are they worried about that over in Asia, in the Asian Pacific? I don't know. Hard to say. But we're sure trying to make it look like we are. But the president better realize that talk ain't enough and just sending destroyers over aren't enough. By sending destroyers over, he's drawing a line. And that line may be crossed. Question becomes what we do if that line is crossed. A lot of issues. Foreign policy is getting bigger, more important, and more dangerous. And it's going to keep on getting more dangerous. And people better start watching it and realize that this leadership has got to be consistent and make things happen. We agree with what they're doing in Asia. We totally and vociferously disagree with what they're doing in the Ukraine and Europe. But hope everything works out well in Asia. But as everyone knows who watches, the belief here is America always comes out fine. And we will come out fine. And the world will come out fine. Because we come out fine. Nothing wrong with that. Let's just hope things don't get worse before they get better. Peace.